Well, I was going to scoop out the berries, but I think I'll just pour it in here. Get it going. Ah. Get some flow in here. Get this poured in. This is doing. Probably going to have a lot of juice. Well, let me pour this in. Squeeze all this out. I don't know if you guys squeeze some of this. Get that juice in there. We want the flavors still. Most of it in. Now we got half of it in. Let's get the rest of it in there. And then I was surprised squeezing this. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot more stickier because I didn't think all the sugars were uh, being had been eaten. So I thought it was. It's not as sticky as I assumed it was going to be. So maybe it did eat a lot of those sugars already. Uh, but it is, I, I think it could go another couple days, but uh, we're gonna run it. Uh, just basically as a test, I guess. Uh, so six days, uh, three berries, got it from the big box store frozen, like I say. Uh, blueberries, blackberry, and raspberries. And uh, see what it does. Right here. I'm kind of interested. If it does bring out more flavor, I may not always let it run off until it completely stops bubbling. Uh, maybe that is a problem. This is why we test things. Run that and. And being it is fruit, I always thought you're running a little longer uh, than like corn or your grains on that. Uh, let's get this in here. Yeah. Definitely smells good. I sure hope this flavor comes out in it. I also have uh strawberries i got so i got this three berry mix and strawberries the strawberries i'm gonna let run off uh, like i normally do but my wife wanted the berries so she's running the show uh when she wanted this because uh, she thinks it's of course she likes her drinks the mild side where I think the moonshine should be running 90, 100 proof. Because uh, it's not exactly, it's not like on that show where this stuff's given to me. It costs money. So, yeah, I like to get my money's worth out of it. It'd be cheaper to go buy a flavored bottle of booze, but not as fun. 
is making your own. So we shall see. On this. Let's let that drain off. I pop my hand so I can turn off the camera and we'll let that drain and then get this fired up. <laughs> all right, so we got all the mash put in the still. We got the still going. I fired it up. Uh, we got the flame fairly low, so we're going to run this slow. We're heating up. It's a little above 100 degrees right now, so we're getting there. Pipe's warm. So, I got my water, my recirculation. I'll throw some ice in there in a little bit. Uh, but now we're just waiting on this to get going on there. And what I have in here, I've said uh, this is a three berry uh, mix. And um, I also have, uh, I put seven and a half pounds of sugar in what's about a six gallon uh, carboy on there. And that's how I run it. So that's the recipe I'm running. Um, wait for this thing to start bubbling or shouldn't say bubblings we for it to start cooking here it should be pretty quick there we go got the selfie stick going here so we're cooking and I just wanted to hook up the, the stick since I haven't used it a whole lot we'll get used to using this and uh, but we're cooking along we're still uh, a little above 100 degrees and we'll be good there we go all right, that worked. We are starting to get a little uh, liquid coming out of the tube there. Uh, I'll probably turn on, turn this on, uh, at least the uh, get the water going here. But still, still just above a hundred. So, we're getting there. Now we got a little better shot. So you can see the tip. It's just starting to drip out. I turned the water, get that flowing. That pipe chilled right back down. So, we're doing good there. And the temperature is warming up. So, you should have some brewing a little bit. There we go. So, we're starting to get a drip out of here. Oop, I got the camera turned. Let's get that back in. See, we're getting a drip out of here. Uh, it's about just above 150, about 160. So we're getting all that nail polish remover uh, right now. We'll gather that, and oop, drips picking up a little bit. So this is moving right along, heating up. Let's take a look at the what we had on our. Oh well. Alright, so we are at a temperature. I do got it turned down. So well we got a pretty good drip coming out of there. But not quite the temperature where I want to start saving, but we're getting there. Alright, so we're collecting uh, the heads right there so we can throw them away uh, We're getting there. It's just now hitting 200 degrees on that and We should be Let's see I don't quite got the pipe in there. Let's get that in camera view, okay and that's what we're collecting. We're about a hundred uh, milliliters right at the moment. Smells pretty good. Doesn't smell like uh, uh, nail polish remover anymore. Uh, so we are up to temperature. That is definitely hot. A 
we're doing pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't got that harsh nail polish smell anymore. So I think we're collecting. They say you should collect at least 200 milliliters just for general purposes, but I think we're doing pretty good. I may start collecting. We're at about 190 right now, uh, which is pretty good. I'll collect just a little bit more and then throw that away. And we'll move to start saving here. And then we'll have to check and see. All right, let's go ahead and collect this. There we go. So, mmm, that does taste very. Uh, I must say, it does got the berry flavor that uh, my wife was talking about. So, we'll have to see what fruit that's coming out as soon as we get a jar full. I'm um, curious. Uh, she may have hit it on the head. Uh, I've just been waiting too long. I should have been running this way before. Um, yeah, cool. So, we're hanging just around just below 200 doing pretty good we just started collecting uh does got the berry flavor in there so i'm very happy with that i thought we were gonna stop in too early uh on that this may be a very good run here won't have the hotness uh that i normally get when i let it uh just keep going till it stops bubbling so um yeah very happy we'll check the proof when we get it uh get a jar now that we're starting to collect i threw one of my ice jugs i got in here a three gallon jug that i uh put in the freezer so that'll cool down my water a little bit got a couple more there we go i forgot I've got a proofing parrot here. So I went ahead and set that up. Let's put put it in. Oh, no, shoot, I'm overflowing. You gotta be careful. Don't waste all my alcohol. Slowly get this in there. There we go. All right, now let's see what proof we're running at. We are running, ooh, running at 110. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm really surprised at that. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Right there. Yeah. Wow. So we're coming out pretty good. Got a lot of flavor. Well, we're about an hour, about an hour into it. Uh, we're still at about 200 on the thermostat, and we've got about a, eh, a little more than a half a jar in there. So. Doing pretty good. We are definitely running it slow. Um, so um, we'll just keep keep on chugging along here and run it slow. And I just wanted to show you where are we? There we are. So come on out of focus. Uh, it's coming out about 100 now. So it's gone down from 110 to 100 uh, on that. Uh, and there's where we're at as far as the jar. Alright, well, we are, uh, let's see here. We're still running about 200. Uh, got about, um, 
half a jar. Well, not a half jar, I'm sorry. Full jar, let's turn this around. On that, we're gonna go ahead and swap the jars out. So let's just move that over. Walk that along and so and we're coming out. Uh, about 90 proof uh, on that and we're still at about 200 so we're doing pretty good uh, on that I'll we'll keep going along it's been about an hour or so and that I got one jar and keep going all right so we're running about 70 proof got about eh, Probably a quarter of a second jar in that, and that's on uh, about six days of running. Uh, yeah, see the quarter jar, so that, and that's a running about 70 proof. Let me turn this around uh, so you can see the proof of it. Want to focus? There we go on that, and we're still pushing. Yeah, a little above 200, so might get three jars out of this. Uh, right now we just got two, so that'll be pretty good. And here we are. Come on, on a focus. There we go. It's coming out about 60 proof. There, and the other jar. See the difference if I put them next to each other see that first jars came out real clear this one's coming out a little more hazier uh, on that so um yeah that's where we're at right now as far as running this along uh, and we're still at about uh, let me check oh come on hang in there uh, we're just above 200 there running on that that's where we're at on our second jar yeah that that was six days of fermenting on 12 pounds of fruit and seven and a half pounds of sugar all right, we're going to go ahead, shut her down. Um, we're just at, where are we at here? So, uh, almost three quarters of a jar. Probably once I pour this in, uh, I will have probably two jars. It's getting pretty cloudy. It's about 60 proof. I think I'm going to go ahead and just shut this off at this point uh, on this. Um, we'll run it over some charcoal, see uh, if it clears it up at all or not, and call it a run. All right, thank you for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Push the subscribe button on there. Uh, that way I can do some more of these in the summertime. This was just a winter run. Uh, thank you.